Hey what's up guys, today I've been doing something different, I've been allowed to um, test Filmora Screen, which is a screen capture software, um, which is still in development by the way, this is a beta version, um, and I'm going to compare it to my Elgato Game Capture HD60 Pro, which I use for my gaming videos. The video on the left is captured with Filmora Screen, uh, the beta software which is available to me, and the video on the right, as you saw, was captured with my Elgato Game Capture HD60 Pro, which is a building capture card. So first of all the differences. Probably the software is going to be a lot cheaper. There's no price set yet, but you can count on it, the software is a lot cheaper than the capture card. So a capture card will cost, like this one, cost around $200, and obviously you need a desktop, because you have to build it in there. Software therefore is a lot easier, you can just download it, install it like a regular program and run it at the same time. So I want to say this can be used to capture either your screen or games. And the main things that you probably notice in the video is the light and the color difference, which is a lot more beautiful on the Elgato game capture. But yeah, then again, it's a capture card, which is probably going to be a lot more expensive. So. First of all, I wanted to, to discuss some of the, the specs involved, like um, I was running them and I noticed that the, like the CPU usage, the RAM usage and the GPU usage were quite a bit of the same. For the Filmora captured software, uh, screen capture software, the CPU usage was between 5 and 12 percentage, the RAM usage was between 2 and 8 and the GPU between 3 and 10. Um, for the Elgato, this was between uh, the CPU was 4 to 10, RAM 4 to 10, and GPU 3 to 8. So in most parts, the capture card used less resources than the software, except for the RAM, which sometimes spiked a little higher than the software. But that's because it's a capture card. So a part of the capture card has got a processor in there, and therefore it can also do. Um, not the full load of the processing is going to my own CPU, GPU or RAM, like a part is done by the capture card itself. The software obviously has to take full advantage of my own PC and cannot use its own hardware because there is none. Uh, and therefore the load is a little higher even though the quality is lower. The file size is a good measurement for quality. So the file size of the Filmora screen software both set, uh, by the way, at 1080p, 60 frames per second, um, was 7000 kilobytes per second. The Elgato captures with 60,000 kilobytes per second. So yeah, 60,000 kilobytes per second versus 7000 kilobytes per second. And that's the difference you see on screen. As you can see in the videos, you can really see the difference there. So yeah, overall, the software is quite good. The maximum frame rate you can record is 120 frames per second. You can use it to um, easily uh, record your voiceovers, just like the Elgato software. Unlike the Elgato software, you can't separate them yet, but maybe that will be added in the future. This is only a beta version, of course. You can also capture the sound, of course, from your games, which is very nice, or from your PC. So if you're doing like a tutorial video, you can play the music on your PC and it will instantly capture that music. So that's really really nice. If you're not good with like music editing, you could do that. That would be a way to do it. You can also capture like um, a webcam if you have one. You can easily set it over the video and control that, just like in the Elgato software. So it's pretty good software. Um, and as I said, the price hasn't been set yet. But I can tell you it's going to be cheaper than the Elgato, like the hardware. Um, and therefore it's, it's, it's like it's a good way for smaller channels and like people who wish to record small stuff it's gonna be really really nice to use the only things that I have is with it is of course I've got quite a monster PC as I said and if you look to the values like I've only uh, set them in percentages because well no point uh, giving all these big numbers so yeah imagine that if you're running this program on your like mid-range PC, it can be a quite heavy, especially if you want to record game software, it can be really, really difficult, since, um, 
but obviously it's going to take a lot of your CPU, GPU and RAM and you want to send as much to your game as you to make it look pretty. So running both at the same time and capturing might be a little problem so hopefully it will be more streamlined and more optimized for lower end PCs in game because if you can afford a high end PC you're gonna be able to afford the hardware to record anyway. So yeah this was my comparison video because it's a little different but I hope you liked it anyway. If you did make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.